Good morning, guys. It's moving day. You may be like, Susie, where are you right now? Well, I'm in an Airbnb in Port Macquarie, which is like halfway. We drove seven and a half hours yesterday. Murray's out right now. He's grabbing me an iced latte. What a king. I cannot believe we are literally moving in to our new place today. That is craziness. And last night, this random cat just came into the house. Hello? I don't know if it lives here, but I want to show you a little tour of this Airbnb. I wish we could have stayed here longer because it is so cute. This is the Airbnb little living room. How cute is this place? Through here is the bedroom and then the bathroom as well. Here's me looking stunning first thing in the morning, but I'm obsessed. Murray's here with my coffee. I saw it on oat milk. Yeah, of course. Mmm. Thank you. I was gonna get you one of the snacks or something that they had there, and then there was flies all flying around and I was like, mm, I don't know. I'm literally using Murray's skincare right now. We use the same skincare because I told him to use it. But mine's all packed away, so thanks, Murray. So I think the agenda right now is Murray's gonna wait for me to get ready because I <laughs> always take the longest time and then we just gotta get there and unpack everything which i am not looking forward to i did not do a very good job of organizing my boxes that is for sure but we'll fight that battle when we get there are you excited to move in today yes yay i'm excited too okay guys we are here now time to unpack Good. It's the next morning now. We basically just passed out last night, but all of the boxes are inside, mostly thanks to Murray. Well, I think we actually, we half the work. So today we need to unpack everything. But I think first, before I unpack anything, I need to find my coffee machine in here because I'm gonna need a coffee for this. I was so rushed that I just stopped labeling boxes. So who knows where this is. My sweet baby, she's alive. Let's see if it still works. She's having a bit of a moment. That didn't sound good. Guys, look, we got her working. <laughs> yeah. And an update on if my plants that I bought like two and a half weeks ago are still alive. They are but they definitely need a water. So I'm gonna water these. And I also did end up bringing a few of my plants because we ended up having space in the trailer. I was just worried about bringing them because I thought they would die on the way, but they seem to be doing okay. So I'm gonna go on the balcony and water all of my beautiful plants now. My Dolly Parton mug that my friend Eden got me for Christmas. It says, get out there and get to living. I love Dolly Parton. now basically I have been putting off unpacking the entire day now I need to actually unpack Murray's unpacked all of his stuff the main bulk of the things was mine why are there sunglasses in my kitchen box right now is just to get things out of the boxes and we can organize the pantry later. Also, any kitchen things that are new that need to be washed, I'm gonna put in the dishwasher.
Ari is currently in the process of building the stuff that we got from Kmart. We just got a laundry hamper and also a clothes rack because we don't have a full length clothes hanging system in this house at all. So Murray's on building duty now. It definitely looks better. It might be a little bit small for the space, but I think it looks pretty good. I just wanted to turn the camera on because Murray and I have just done something very exciting. We got Woolworths delivery for the first time. But basically, Murray eats a lot. Like a lot, a lot. And we've been running out of groceries really quick. And we've both realized that we hate grocery shopping with a vengeance. So we decided to get our groceries delivered. They just delivered it. And I can say it was a 10 out of 10 experience. But one of my main goals for this year is to start eating at home more, start cooking healthy recipes. This is the most stocked our fridge has been this entire time. And it doesn't really look that exciting, but it is to us. We've got yogurt, I've got my fake bacon, dip, salmon. We're gonna make some salmon and veggies tonight. Some eggs, butter, berries, Murray's proper bacon. All of our veggies and we got some more fruit as well love fruit oh and we have some juice and this is the champagne that i still haven't drunk in here and the pantry is still looking pretty bare except for all of my supplements and we got some shapes vegemite flavor these are our guilty pleasure and even better we got some of the little bricks farm if you're not from Australia, Woolworths does this thing where they give you like little toys if you spend over a certain amount. They're for kids, but I highly enjoy them. I think they're like little Legos that you can make. <gasps> oh, cute. It's a little cow. This is probably gonna be an unhealthy addiction starting because I want all of them. So Murray's gone away to Brisbane because his friend is there for a couple days and I was like, I'm going to get this house unpacked if it kills me. The mental energy it has taken to even muster up the motivation to do this is ridiculous. I could have been breaking this up into small tasks and it would have been done by now, but have I left it all procrastinated so that it is now a massive task that I'm gonna try and get done in a day? Yes, yes I have. Before I do that, I'm gonna procrastinate more and show you the cute things that I bought for the house. First off, this cactus, $15, bargain. Absolutely love it. And I also got this little chair right here, also $15. Oh my God, the dogs are in the frame. But it is a bit mucky, but I figure I can clean it up. I got it from this cute little secondhand store. And I want this to be my makeup desk chair. And then that one is my computer desk chair. Let me show you what we're working with at the moment. Yeah, that's all of my clothes that I have not unpacked. Also here, I have a problem. This is what is supposed to be my filming slash editing room. Okay, where are we starting? Okay, first things first, I hate this chair. So this is going in the garage. One of the things that is irking me about this house is all of the lighting is shocking. It is so dim. This is the only light in this room. So if anybody has any recommendations for like cordless bright lighting that I can just put around the house in spots, that would be really helpful. Now I'm gonna move all of my bathroom stuff into the bathroom because I literally haven't done that yet. I do really need to get organizers for everything, but for the time being, it's just getting shoved in. Why is trying to decide where things go the hardest thing I've ever done? Here's what the bathroom looks like so far. We've got all my medications and everything and everything I like to reach for quickly in the top. And then I've got some hair stuff. And down here is all of my other little skincare bits and bobs. And in here I decided to keep my perfumes and just a bunch of like body 
tan moisturizer so I'm not oh my god I'm so tired moving on to the filming room now this is cleaning supplies does not need to be in here I'm good it's leaked that's my fault <laughs> Oh my god, <gasps> this was full and now it's... <laughs> okay, well this has to go down the sink. Oh my god. Does that make sense? So, there's mold in this drawer. Is there mold in these ones? Oh no. There's definitely mold in there. Now I don't know what to do. I don't have any drawers other than the moldy dresser right now. A box just fell on my leg. The world is testing me right now. You may be like, Susie, what happened to cleaning out the filming room? Well, after I found the mold in the drawers, after sniffing it to see if it was mold, I swear I got the worst headache. So I've messaged the real estate. They haven't got back to me yet, but that kind of put a pin in the process of cleaning the filming room. Someone commented on my last moving vlog saying that the house is cursed with like a sad face as well. Like they felt bad for me. And I kind of was like, oh my God, like, what are you talking about? The house is not cursed, but I swear to God, I don't know if those masks have some bad juju in them because this has just been a series of unfortunate events. First of all, my car overheated and Murray's in surface paradise right now. So I'm basically trapped here. That was the first thing that happened. Then all of the tap water in the house has turned a tinge of brown yellow. So we have tank water and I talked to our neighbor and he said it's probably got something to do with the pump. Also, the dishwasher was making all of our dishes smell like eggs. And thank God my friend Hannah told me once that you have to clean the dishwasher filter out. I was talking to my friend Molly about it and she was like, it really is a shock learning that you have to clean the things that clean things in your house. I spent ages cleaning out the disgusting dishwasher filter, gagging the whole time and it smelled like rotten eggs. And now the washing machine filled up with water and would not drain. I just used all of my brute force to pull this away from the wall and I realized I can't reach the tap. Wow, <laughs> moving vlog two is going so well. <laughs> I guess we're moving the washing machine back because I've realized that I cannot reach the thingy and Murray's gonna have to help me with that because I do not want to flood the house. Ugh. Oh, and I'm sick. I forgot to say that. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. I've ranted and now it's time to get over it and get stuff done. Now we're doing the clothes. And I think the first thing I want to do is take out all of my winter clothes because it's summer here right now and put them into vacuum bags and put them in the garage because I simply just do not have enough space to keep them in the house. And whilst I'm doing it, I'm gonna be doing a very strict declutter because moving has just made me realize that when I decluttered last time, I didn't do a very good job. <laughs> This is all of my winter stuff to go in the garage. I still need to vacuum seal these bags. This is what I've managed to get done. I have filled up both of these racks. This is just my dresses slash skirts. I would happily keep all of this stuff, but I simply just do not have enough room in this house. I do not have the space. Here is the progress we have made so far. And you may be like, Susie, that's not much progress, but I swear to God, it is a lot better than it was before. We can always go through later and do another declutter. The main goal here is to just get everything out of the boxes. I've actually decluttered quite a bit. I have so many socks and I don't need this many. And I also need to find all the matching pairs. Look how cool these socks are. I stole them from Molly. They say, holy shiitake. And they've got mushrooms on them. This is what everything is currently looking like. I managed to get all of my clothes on these hangers. 
But yes, I have three hangers with my clothes on them. We'll see if I cut down eventually. And then the filming room basically cleared. I've just put sunglasses and whatnot in here. And I've also done all of my hair stuff, but I still need to organize it. That's for a different video. And this is all of the Gymshark currently. I still need to organize this a bit better. And my makeup is still in a box because we do have a desk that we need to put in here. And I'm gonna put my makeup in those drawers. And this is what the wardrobe is looking like currently. So I need to get some storage cubes to put in here because it's literally just a shelf. Like it doesn't have any sort of organizational method because right now the shelf is kind of useless. Like I just have things shoved on it. It literally looks so much bigger in here without all of those boxes. Oh, it's so much better. Obviously there is still lots more to do with the house with organization and everything, but that is for next time because I am pretty damn proud of all this stuff I've achieved so far. It took me a long time, but I basically unpacked and decluttered all of my clothes yesterday in one day. Pat on the back for that. And oh my God, it feels so good to have the house looking like this because those boxes were just in the way for like two whole weeks. But thank you guys for joining me in moving vlog two. There will be many more. And next time I think it's gonna be more decorating, a bit of organizing, a lot of organizing actually, and just making this home feel more homey. Plus lots more trips to Kmart because Lord knows the shopping list just never ends. But I am so excited to have you guys coming on this journey with me. If you're still watching to this point, comment down below a dress emoji. Also, any video suggestions that you may have, please comment them down below. I love to hear what you guys wanna see. Okay guys, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video, it helps me out a lot. And also subscribe if you haven't already and join our family of all shapes and sizes. You are welcome here. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. I also completely forgot to show you guys my attempt to fix the candle. And if it didn't look like Shrek's earwax candle before, it definitely does now. I made it 10 times worse and it's still wonky, but at least it fits.